Yo, what's up guys, Amen's Tech here, and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to get Windows Update working on Windows Vista RTM Service Pack 1 and Windows Server 2008 Service Pack 1. Now, in this, now this will not work on Windows Server 2008 Service Pack 2 or Vista SP2. At least from my testing, you will have to install a few extra updates in order for this to work. Let's get started, shall we? Alright, so the first, um... You want to open up your browser. If you have, if you're running a clean install like I am, open IE. If you have another browser, open that one. And now you want to download Windows Update Agent. This can be done by um, going to the link in the description. I will leave everything in the description. But you want to make sure you're down downloading the right version. To check, go to Start. Right-click on Computer, press Properties, and you will land at this page. Check where's the system type 3. Um, now, if you're running 64 bit for um, OS, you want to download the 64 bit version. I'm running a 32 bit version, so I will download the 32 bit version. So press enter and you will get to this um, um, file download message. I already have it saved, but I want to save it somewhere if you don't have it downloaded already. I already have it downloaded, so we don't have to worry about this. Open with the Windows Update Agent Executable, and if you get a UAC, just click on Continue, and you will end at this um, at this window. Install install Windows Update Agent. Click on Next. Click on I agree. Click on Next, and this will take a few seconds, so just be patient. It does not take that long. Okay, so now we have successfully installed Windows Update Agent. Click on Finish, and it will ask you to restart your computer. Click on Yes. And it will restart here. All right, now that we're back in the window, you will see, please wait um, for a little bit. Just be patient. It has to like finish configuring the updates because Windows Update Agent does install a few updates in Windows Vista. So. And, just and we're back, all right. So now that Windows Update Agent installed, you want to open up your browser again and you want to download Windows Update um, Mini Tool. So now, again, I will leave everything in the description. This does require you to. Um, um, this does require you to also um, download the right version. If you're using a 32-bit version, download the 32-bit version. If not, download the X64 version. So, of course, this is a link to the X64 version. I'm using the 32-bit version. So. You will download that. Click on save. I already have it saved to the desktop. And you will need one last link to finish it up. Is the Windows update um, offline update um, cab file. Now you, you will need to download the December 2019 version as the latest SHA1 ver um, version, which is from July 2020. I've had problems with that. So. I wouldn't recommend really using it, but just go to the link in the description. I will leave everything there for you. And you will get this file down. Click on save and save it somewhere. This might take a while as it is 670 megabytes. So you know, just be patient. All right, now that we got everything um, oh, in, ready, you want to double right click, double click on WMT on allow and you want to select offline mode right here you can select any of these two check boxes if you want but I won't really worry about them and it will say installed offline mode updates will be checked from the WSUSC uh, 
cn2.cav file. Now, this will take a few minutes depending on your hard hard drive speed, I guess. It'll take a few minutes, so just be patient. I'm running this on a virtual machine, so it won't take that long, but it will take um, a few minutes depending if you have any updates installed, if you need to install any updates, or just how much programs you have in general. This is a fairly clean install with Office 2007 on it, so it will not really take that long. You know, all right, I'm gonna pause this video, video and I will be right back once it finishes checking for updates. All right, we are back and finished searching for all the updates right here. Um, again, it will not find all the updates. Again, it's gonna succeed with errors, so you might get mixed results. Um, but again, so these are all the updates right here that you want to. Know. So there you go, that is how to get Windows Update working on Windows Vista RTM Service Pack 1 or Windows Server 2008. Now keep in mind that you will also need to be connected to the internet to install these updates. So I'm going to select all the updates here. I'm not going to select that. And you're going to click this install button right here. You can also sort by date or size if you want to do that, but we're not going to be doing that. Click on download and it will download all the updates now um again it, it will it you know you should know how to how this works it's just like windows update but we're downloading it from the mini tool so i will be right back once it finishes downloading and installing all the updates okay we are done installing the updates it will ask you to restart your computer but you know i would uh, if you have extra updates to install, I would say no, but if you did all the updates, just click on yes. Now keep in mind that you will not get Windows Ultimate Extras with this. Sadly, I have tried this before. The Windows Ultimate Extras did not show up if, if you are running Windows Vista Ultimate. You have to probably have Service Pack 2 for that, as I think they, um, as they probably updated it to make it say SP2 only. But that's about it on how to get Windows updates on Windows Vista RTM, Service Pack 1, and Windows Server 2008 Service Pack 1 without the use of Legacy Update. Thank you guys for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.